we hope that the viewers can get the information that's not present on the history textbooks because uh, we know that in the history books the stories are only only told in a limited way and but what's housed in the museum are the objects that can tell us more so let's just start the trip so so good afternoon So, good afternoon. So, let's, let's move to that place.
次展览呢，首先，呃，我们提到河北呢，一般人都知道，但是呢，呃，其实在战国时期，河北境内还有中山国，呃，而且呢，当时是非常的强盛。呃，另外呢，中山国它还是通过考古发掘，印证一个国家存在的这样的一个非常好的例证。Also being proved to be as a good evidence to the existence of a state here in、uh, Hebei, and only by discovering the Zhongshan State, the Chinese nation dis dis、uh, started to discover the mystery behind it. For Zhongshan State. It's such a mysterious nation, and it's unknown to people before that. In that period of time, We have a one bronze cauldron. As we can imagine, three thousand years ago, our ancestors can come up with an idea for this container. And while moving here, we can also take a look at of this cauldron. So I have to say that this this is a set of devices, which I mean that you can separate the two、uh, different parts.
So since we have uh, got an idea of uh, the lifestyles of the Zhongshan style as well as uh, the decorations in the average households, let's take a look at of this one. This is a national trial, uh, which we call it's a uh, it's a tiger made of uh, gold and uh, silver. It's uh, usually used as an anchor for a screen right put right in front of uh, a household's entrance. As you can see here, the three paws are made in an extremely adequate way, and uh, that can ensure this object is well balanced. So why not, why not we create a game here? Yes. I believe we have already prepared a question. And I have to say that the lady standing beside me is really a master in games. And for this museum, a whole host of cutting edge technologies have been adopted here. So let me give the microphone to her. Now we will bring the mascots to play this game that's related to the screen which I have mentioned. And uh, since I, we've, uh, we've uh, discovered that some um, signal problems have uh, occurred, and as a makeup, we have uh, talked with the museum to provide you some uh, cultural gifts as a compensation. And uh, I believe for all the viewers, you can since the photo cards of your viewing and send it to us, you may be put into our uh, lottery pool and uh, so that you can win an award. Since we have only one microphone, so So Madame Pan, uh, she is uh, the main uh, writer for writing the scripts for this uh, for this program, and uh, this is Mo Yang, and uh, she majors in the science of uh, fine arts. And what's the relationship? What's the relevance of uh, fine art to? The museum. Actually, uh, she is a doctor, and uh, the relation is that fine arts can really demonstrate the vivid, adequate details of an cultural heritage. So it's my great pleasure to introduce to you this uh, object. It's uh, typical of the Zhongshan casting technique. The structure of this object is uh, very complicated and uh, a high degree of uh, the making technique can also be very visually detected. So let's move to the side. Yes. And I believe you can also find that a passage of uh, an inscription can be found on the surface of the metal. And it took 14 years for the craftsman to finish building this uh, object. And uh, taking such a long time means to ensure a good quality and and it means that the citizen of a nation need to work hard with the state at the center and also the craftsmen are put under extreme pressure to deliver a good uh, object By interpreting the scriptures that have been carved on the service, we can also identify other facts. Uh, 
but can we move to the opposite side? And here, from this perspective, you can um, identify the facial expression of uh, this uh, reindeer. It's actually an image of a uh, tiger eating the reindeer. And for the herdsmen, or for the people who live on the plateau, it's a, a common view. So how, how are you going with your game playing? It's quite challenging because uh, there is a time limit imposed on each round of the game. So we can see that this game is designed to demonstrate how Lego has been played 2,300 years ago. And for Zhongshan State, it's a nomad state. And so for most of the furniture, you will find here they can be detected. And for the museum, they have uh, put in a lot of effort in creating this game. So let's wait a little bit for the outcome of this game. Now let me turn to our curator for the next stop. Now we move on to the Hall of uh, Jade Object Exhibition Hall. And uh, there are as many as uh, 4,000 pieces of uh, jade objects have been excavated from uh, the ar archaeological detection. And for this object, it symbolizes a fluidity and the dynamism. And uh, such a big amount of uh, archaeological objects demonstrated that for Zhongshan State, it emphasizes much on the national or state cohesion. Despite the short lifespan of the Zhongshan State, uh, but it's still a very well-known nomadic state. So let's take a look at of the board game of the Zhongshan State. This is uh, what we call the board game in modern, modern days. There, there are six board, board means the six uh, states. And uh, this board game is the oldest or the earliest board game that have been excavated here in China. And as you can see, the pattern of uh, how the game is played, there are six, uh, there are five people and uh, one gentleman who play together. And uh, depending on how they get to the dice result, a winner will be determined. Since I believe uh, this is the earliest board game that has ever been discovered. Yes, and in this game, you can find all the elements that we call um, mahjong, uh, the card game, and others. For Zhongshan State, it has a fine tradition of uh, playing games or having fans. But you, but uh, rightly due to this reason, they ignored the national or economic development. As you can see here. The citizens, the they spend their day and their night having fun and the playing games. They ignore the development of their economy and they overlook the 
development of their families also. And uh, there are also passages in the Zhao state conquered the Zhongshan state in the 971 BC. But it is such a satire there. Uh, Zhongshan was uh, the most uh, strong nation, nation back then. But 13 years after of its uh, all booming and the prosperity, um, it was uh, acquired by, it was uh, beaten and acquired by another nation. So which in one way teach us once again to stay true to our original ambition. So how is your game going? I have to say it's really fun. And it's an interactive game. And some of the netizens has uh, taught, have taught me they have uh, come here to play before. Let me repeat once again how to play this. For all the netizens viewers, you can scan the barcode on the screen of your uh, television. And uh, you can click all the way to claim your prize or gift. So it's a priority rule. So first come, first come, served. So Xiao Xiao is really hardworking. So let's turn to Xiao Xiao. It's really hot inside it. For a curator, a curator is also very professional. So we look forward to your interaction with us. And you can see we have a many on-site viewers. So we look forward to the interaction from um, the netizens. And Xiao Xiao will lead us to the other elaborate exhibition object hall. And uh, that hall houses uh, the archaeological objects from the Han Dynasty. Since we need to move to the other exhibition hall from here, as the curator has said that, the demise of uh, the Zhongshan state is uh, it's, uh, for forgotten of its original aspiration. Since we found many scriptures on the surface of the objects here, we have uh, worked uh, with them and communicate with them. They have uh, written the four Chinese words of uh, staying true to your original ambition in the Zhongshan uh, calligraphy style. For
后世象征生前的卧室，举世闻名的金陵一出土在后世当中。一会儿我们去看啊，旁边还有一个小侧室，这里面啊出土了澡盆、搓澡壶和香炉，证明是个洗澡间。哎，你看汉代人多么讲究，里边的真实。It means that it attaches great importance to their personal hygiene. So since we have more netizens joining us, so we more we may have more interactions. So. How many descendants the do a、uh, Liu Sheng can the can the emperor of Liu Sheng? So could you give us uh, several options? Uh, let me. There are thirty, ninety, or one hundred twenty children for Liu Sheng, can of Liu Sheng. So, and the next step is very interesting for uh Liu Sheng. Uh, the Princess Liu Sheng, who is the elder brother of uh, Han Wu, Emperor Han Wu, and uh, he identifies himself as the 18th grandson of uh, Liu Bei. And uh, many renowned people and with the family name of uh, Liu uh, would recognize uh, Liu Sheng as their ancestor. Like Liu Kun, Liu Kun is、uh, actually the main character of、uh, a very famous Chinese idiom, which means you get up early in the morning to practice your skills, and、uh, who identify himself as the、uh, descendants of、uh, Liu Sheng and me, and、uh, my family is、uh, also Liu, and、uh, we would like to identify ourselves as the descendants of、uh, Liu Sheng. He was really a literature man. He has published quite a great number of、uh, famous articles, and、uh, he has written many widely spreading、uh, scriptures. But he is、uh, addicted to alcohol. And uh, also because uh, she has、uh, a big number of the concubines,、uh, she he actually has a、uh, birth one hundred twenty children. So are there any winner who got it right? I yeah yeah I believe the first、uh, netizen is that his、uh, code name is、uh, Oh Snow is coming. His answer is、uh, his answer is one hundred twenty. And、uh, so your prize is that when you come and visit the museum, you will get two pieces of、uh, the gifts. And、uh, there is another netizen named Gu Cheng Luo Mo, and、uh, you are also right selected. So there are three. One is Oh Xue Lan, and、uh, second is Yun He Tian Feng. Ah, and the third one I have already mentioned. When you visit this museum, and you will get two pieces of、uh, the cultural、uh, gifts. Let me reaffirm you: the prizes are really worthwhile for you to answer this question. So let's、uh, follow the curator. We have、uh, told many stories. Now let's、uh, go and appreciate the objects, the cultural relics. This.、Uh, Clothes. This set of clothes is a、uh, really a national treasure, and uh, this uh, costume is made of、uh, silk and、uh, gold, and、uh, it's mainly used for the burial services of the kings and、uh, emperors, as well as、uh, the empress, and、uh, the meaning of uh, this uh, costume. Is、uh, the whole piece of the clothes is、uh, threaded with the、uh, silver and the、uh, gold thread, and、uh, it's made of、uh, many tiny and、uh, small pieces of uh, the um, blocks. 
Some are as、uh, small as、uh, your thumbnail, and、uh, the other are as big as you can identify visibly. And for this、uh, technique,、uh, it's really time and time and labor consuming. It will take more than one decade for a for a senior craftsman to finish it, and it will cost the whole household saving of、uh, a middle a middle class family back then. Why? You may ask why the ancient people wanted such a、uh, gold. Such gold clothes because、uh, they believe that gold will bring them eternity. And、uh, for the the family, the luxury of、uh, the praying of、uh, the kings and、uh, emperors cannot be kept by the so-called gold, as you can see here. Because when it was、uh, excavated, the body has already been、um, eroded. So let's move on to the. Empresses, as many as two thousand ninety hundred pieces have been used in making this costume, and、uh, gold is not used as lavish lavishly as、uh, the emperor's one, and、uh, the gold、um, embroidery technique has been adopted here. A minor difference is that for Liu Wan, the Empress,、um, you can identify the ear, but you cannot do that on the Emperor's、uh, body.、Uh, Liu Shu、uh, died before his、uh, wife. So let's move down along the steps. There are many other adequate objects excavated. So this is another national、uh, treasure. It's made of、uh, white jade, and the jade is uh, de uh, derived from Xinjiang Hetian region.、Uh, right at the top of、uh, the coin, you can find a very vividly carved dragon, and so in both. The terms of、uh, the quantity as well as uh, the uh, exquisiteness. This is uh, one of、uh, the really rare national level、uh, treasure. So we can also、uh, detect that the ancient people they have put much expectation and hope for their afterlife life. Yes, and for this one. This is、uh, the Empress Wang, uh, uh, Empress Dou's necklace. Right in the middle, you can see the、uh, jade cubes, and also we can find a figure of a young lady dancing. And、uh, this dancing is、uh, quite popular in the、uh, Han Dynasty. Let me remind the netizens once again, since we have a limited. Time, we will lead you to the most、uh, treasured objects. If you have any question, feel free to ask, and、uh, we will answer you in in a very professional way. So this is a a gilt gold object. That's a decoration for the horse carriages. And、this and this one is、uh, made of、uh, bronze, but、uh, gilded with gold. This is、uh, for the、um, arrow and、uh, bow. And、uh, what are they used for? In Han Dynasty, this is、uh, our replica of their carriage. As you can see here at the very front,、uh, we call it the dragon head or the head of the dragon. Um, what we have just saying is to、uh, balance the carriage. If we piece, we pick one piece of wood from the wheel. It will start to run. And、uh, all these、uh, ancient practices can find modern idioms or even、uh, modern words. 
and uh, what we call saving time in modern Chinese are also derived derived from the ancient practice of uh, running a carriage. So these are the so-called miniature car models. There are many 200 parts are kept intact. So all these are you have been used to make the carriage. And in Liu Sheng and uh, the Empress, uh, Cave, there are as many as 200 vehicles or carriages that have been excavated. So it means that the king was uh, really addicted to the vehicles or the hor horse carriages. For these uh, 10 carriages, do they have a different function? Yes. When they go, when he went hunting, there was a dedicated one. And when he uh, toured around the palace, there was uh, another one. So in the modern day, it means that the, the SUV, the sedan, the lim uh, as well as uh, a mobile moving uh, ha house are all the collections of the king. So we need to move on from one hall to the next. This is uh, the one housing the daily life objects of uh, uh, the emperor and empress. So we have a very um, beautiful uh, curator. And uh, so I'm a Lievan. So I will take you around uh, this uh, exhibition hall. So let's move on to the very luxurious daily life of the emperor and the empress. So this is a, a very heavy weight Changxing Palace lamp. This is excavated from the uh, Dou Wans or the Empress uh, Cave. In many history textbooks, uh, you can find the image of this one. It's a, a rare object from the Xi Han Dynasty. And uh, what's precious about this one is uh, it shows the energy conservation sense of the ancient people. As you can see that the, uh, the lady has a white uh, sleeve. And uh, the sleeve can actually operate to control the intensity of the light. So actually, like uh, what we have uh, in the modern days, uh, the lamp, which means we can adjust the lightness of the lamp as you wish. So it's very, very practical and also a state of art. And for Han Dynasty, those people sit on the ground. So this one is not very high, only 48 centimeters. So when you sit, you can see the lamp just at the height that makes you comfortable. For this Changxing Palace lamp, is the main treasure for us. I also produced a video for this Changxing palace lamp. Please pay attention to the video I made before. Okay, next we move to the other one. This is a uh, kind of a stove uh, from the laundry house. So it's a very uh, cozy life. Three parts, the base, the body, and the cover. You can see the cover is finely engraved. When you light the scent, you can imagine the, the smoke coming out from this stove. So for the shape, it's like a mountain. So maybe they have a special emotions of mountain. Yes, maybe they are related to their religion. There is a mountain called the Bo Mountain. So if you want to be immortal, so you have to be visit that mountain. 
That's why they make all of these objects like a mountain. I'm coming again, so I want to also sell a promo here uh, for th my program. Each treasure has a story. We also feature this stove. Please say hello to everyone. And we will take him and uh, continue the tour. Next one. I believe many girls would love it. It's a feature cup. You can see a sparrow is engraved on this cup. We call it a sparrow cup. So what we use for this kind of sparrow cup? According to the historian, they are saying that uh, the Douwan is using this cup to hold some of her cosmetics. It's very exquisite for this cup. Let's look at the other one. It, it's like a sand clock, meaning that you pour all the water inside this clock, and then the water will drain through this pot. And we also have scale inside of this bottle. And then when you're reading the uh, scale, you can know the time. So how long it takes f for this one to drain all the water? 24 hours. Quite a wisdom. They have the sense of time. Yes, that's why they put scales on this clock. And for this pot, cattle, I have a very uh, special meaning because it's related to astronomy. Next one is the uh, golden golden coins. We have over 40. And 29 of these are coming from Dou Wan's coins. So the gold percentage is around 92%. Now we can look at the uh, ancient currency that we used at that time. I mean, according to statistics, 4,200 coins are buried together with them. We can see that the king of Zhongshan state is very rich. We heard about that uh, Liu Sheng liked to eat and drink. Let's see what was he using for his daily life. Now there is a question. Here we have like a uh, five cup. What are the functions for these cups? There is a uh, phoenix cup here. And the uh, technique is the gilt bronze. And for the other vessel, it's very special. There were three legs and also several lugs on top of the vessel. You can actually uh, open the cover. Four animals are actually put it on the cover. So when you turn the cover, so the cover can help you to lock on the body of the vessel. It's more of like the function of the modern pressure cooker. 
we saw some viewers, um, they gave us a correct answer for the function of these vessels. So can you explain the different size of the vessel? That depends on how much you can drink. For the largest one, it can actually contain around like three kilos of water. So very strong capacity of drinking. And there were two other viewers who provided a good answer. So brother Xiao Shuang, Bo Shuang Wu Xi, and the uh, all of the three viewers, they gave the uh, answer. They know that these vessels are used for drinking alcohol. Next one. This is a steam port that was used by ancient people. This one is uh, different than the port with the uh, Zhongshan state. For this port, we have the cover and also two parts of the bottom. It's easy to dismantle to remove the dirt inside. And also the cover is gilted bronze, very luxurious. Vessels, steam pots, and a high pressure cooker is very lux luxurious site of their daily life. Next one is a wine pot. You can also see some feature calligraphies or characters engraved on this wine pot. So what are the meaning? Maybe they are just promoting the benefits of drinking wine. So for ancient people, they are also finding all kinds of excuses for the drink. So we can see that the emperor loved drinking a lot. That's why he buried a lot of drinking equipment or tools together with him. We want to give us give others a quiz like how many how many pots with Liu Sheng and how many pots with Dou Wan. Liu Sheng died two years earlier than the Dou Wan. So you can guess who got the most number of wine pots together in their tombs. And f if we fill all the wine pots, it is actually um, over 10,000 kilos of the wine. So when we get some of the pot out of the earth, we still see some of the wine remaining in the pot, even though it was coming from 2,300 years ago. Uh, however, for some of the pots, maybe they're not in good quality, so some of the liquor already evaporated. So that's uh, from the drinking vessels. We can see that the um, emperor of Zhongshan really enjoys life. Let's check the answers to see if any viewers get the uh, right answer. Let me see again. CCSHJY said that Liu Sheng have more wine pots compared to Dou Wan. Uh, however, the answer is not like that. For Liu Sheng, 16 wine pots buried with him. And for Dou Wan, his wife, 17 pots. So that's why people always joking 
women in Hebei always have a stronger drinking capacity compared to men in Hebei. So we can see that the uh, personality of uh, Liu Sheng, he loves life, loves drinking, and also loves cars. Um, we are referring to the uh, horse carriage. But Liu Sheng is quite uh, respected and honored in the ancient period. That's why many people are saying that they are the offspring of Liu Sheng. We have another quiz time. If you get the right answer, we will send out the cultural gifts. Here there is a passage connecting the two lobbies. The new museum of Hebei Museum opened to the public uh, from 2014. We have over 5,000 pieces of uh, cultural relics presented in the new hall. So for those um, relics, it representing from the uh, Stone Age to Qing Dynasty. The new museum opened in 2014 and in 2017, over one million visitors have been here. For some of the museums in China, actually you don't have to pay to visit the uh, museum. And every day, we will give you the uh, free explanation of the museum and the cultural relics. Some viewers just said that they're still interested in the relics that was presented in the museum. So we welcome you to come here and take a visit. Some people said that they learned a lot of history and knowledge of the ancient times. And recently, there, we have a lot of lights broadcasting about the uh, national treasure. We also, we now we are broadcasting a video. And the National Museum, the Fairplane City, the Sanxing Dui, uh, as well as other best museums in the country to appreciate the best archaeological objects. And uh, last but not least, we have an interaction with uh, the audiences. And during this time, you are invited to get in involved in the game. So let me pass on to Madam Pan. And this year, uh, the National Trier can speak. We have already released the first episode. Um, we follow a chronological order. Uh, we start with from the Yuan Gu era. And the, for the second section, we start with the Warring States. And the, for the whole year, we will broadcast uh, four seasons. That can be traced back to the very beginning of the Chinese uh, civilization, and we look forward to your support. So you're welcome to view more of the documentaries, documentaries at the CCTV. So this is uh, the gift time. The curator is already here. So the. Uh, Madam Luo Xiangjun, the head of uh, the Hebei Provincial Museum. For this uh, live broadcasting has uh, a spurred strong interest from the audiences. So what measures has the museum taken 
to attract the audience, have you do you hold any lecture to increase uh, the public's interest? Please take a seat. Yeah, for the museum, uh, it was open in year 2014. We place high emphasis on attracting audiences to the museum, and uh, we are confident that ever since we attract them to visit us for one time, they will come back repeatedly after that. Why are we so confident? We are confident because first, we have a, a large collection of uh, the treasures, and uh, you have uh, visited the Zhongshan uh, Exhibition Hall. Uh, one is for the West Han Dynasty, and the other one is for the Zhongshan. What you have uh, covered are really uh, basic exhibitions we are running. You are also welcome to visit the other episodes like the beauty of uh, Hebei and uh, the brilliance of the Chinese culture. So whenever you come, you will always find some uh, surprise. And in talking with the madam, and uh, the madam has told me that uh, ever since your childhood, when you visit the museum, uh, you will find something new and uh, fresh on your each visit. We have uh, met many parents and adults coming with their children because uh, for the young kids, when they come to visit us at uh, three years old, it's very hard for the object to impress him direct deeply. But when the kids come back at their five years old, uh, during their primary school year, they will develop a sense of a history. Because uh, when you tell them 2002 million years ago, it's hard for them to get a concept. But when they are in the primary school, they will begin to realize that was a time long, long ago. So that's the same for kids uh, studying in the senior middle school and uh, junior middle school. So I believe that museums can be some some place you can visit for your whole life. As uh, the creative economy is uh, flourishing, the museum has already adopted the high tech in its uh, exhibition. And uh, for this uh, silk scarf, actually, I have uh, bought it today. And uh, this is uh, our own culture creative uh, uh, object. And uh, the floral print on my scarf is actually the national flag of the Zhongshan state. The intention for creating these uh, cultural uh, objects is that you can bring home the cultural relics. When you view it later on, you can remember or think of the museum, and you may even visit uh, once again. On the table, so all these are your um, creative uh, cultural object, uh, gifts or objects. Yes, we have uh, the replica of the Chuangxing Palace lamp. We have uh, the divine beast object. And uh, we also have the replica of uh, the board game. The name of this uh, game means six countries are engaged in uh, chess. So for the netizens, if you have any question, feel free to raise the question. So we can ask uh, two more questions right now. And so, Madam Pan Yi, the director. So, what's the first question? Let me ask ask you one question, one simple question. Zhongshan State, uh, it g existed in which time period? So, you are welcome to actively uh, engage in this game. Once again, you need to download the app of. Uh, our CGNT, and uh, if you are P 
picked by my colleague, and uh, when you visit the museum, you will get two sets of uh, free gifts. And the second gift is that for those netizens who have answered the questions and uh, whose name has been um, picked us at an er early date by us, you will be rewarded with two sets of uh, the cultural and um, the cultural creative objects and as the the general curator has uh, taught me for the Hebei Museum no matter this one or others across the country we hope we can deliver and demonstrate our common Chinese culture through the archaeological objects I hope to say that um, all the archaeological objects are the treasure of uh, the Chinese people as a whole. Because uh, for the museum, we are a non-profit uh, public institution. Now the mission fee is uh, charged, and uh, which in one way or another also demonstrate that it belongs to the people. And uh, I even urge. Uh, the friends that come to us because I believe these things belong to you also. And the other thing of uh, another benefit of uh, visiting a museum is that you can be spiritually enriched. And I, I, I could not agree with you uh, even more. Yes, today uh, we have uh, undergone the cultural and uh, the industrial revolution, the digital revolution, and uh, the modern world. And uh, I can even conclude that for the ancient people, they have a quite similar lifestyles as the modern people. Yes, I believe that the craftsmanship after such a long history, the Chinese people's pursuit of a good life the pursuit of uh, a good and enriching spirit has never changed. But these things can only be sustained with the spirit of uh, a craftsmanship. You need to be careful, to be cautious, to be meticulous with everything you do. And the philosophy of the Chinese culture can also be found here. And I believe that on um, visiting the museums, you can feel ardently that you are part of this proud Chinese nation. So what do you, how do you like today's uh, visit? I believe the user experience is uh, very important. And I believe the Hebei uh, Provincial Museum is uh, doing quite well in this regard. Because when I first visited the museum, I have uh, toured all the exhibition halls, and uh, that was uh, also my first time to have a viewed uh, picture or a photograph, a replica, a real life uh, photograph of uh, one uh, archaeological object. So, so I believe uh, that's really. Um, well remembered and I believe that my connection with the museum and or the cultural relics starts with that day and uh, as I can as I have noticed beside the cultural relics we can usually find a real life uh, picture of that object yes I have to thank uh, Madam Pan um, for her wisdom, because uh, on her first visit, he told me that uh, I have uh, I have uh, viewed a real life photograph of this object. If I have uh, missed that photograph, uh, I may never come up with a, a realistic image of that object because uh, sometimes the objects are on the exhibition tour to other places. And uh, after the feedback from uh, Madam Pan, internally we discussed on this, and uh, we think that it's not good for the visitors to come and uh, say nothing because uh, of uh, 
the objects are on an exhibition tour. We hope everyone who visit us can find their trip worthwhile. So we decided to install a real life picture of that object beside it. So maybe next time when the when the visitors come, they can really appreciate it. So what's this? This is a the. It's an object made of a gold, a pure gold. Uh, and uh, so, for some uh, major national or international exhibition, uh, we would send this as a、uh, participant. And so, when this is not at home, and、uh, we will place a replica in. The original place, so that the visitors will not find it a regret or shame to miss it. So, any netizen who have answered our questions correctly, yes. So, for this、uh, question, when this question is、uh, asked,、uh, I find it quite challenging to answer it. I believe there are two answers. For the this、uh, Zhongshan State, it starts with uh, the. Starring states period, but、uh, for the Man Heng Han,、uh, it was、uh, actually can be that can date back to the Xi Han. So, but I believe we have a really、um, miraculous answer. The name, the code name is Yi Ye Yi Yingyu, who got it right, and、uh, his answer is、uh, that warring. States and、uh, Western Han Dynasty. So thank you very much. Thank you for your participation. The purpose of this、uh, live broadcasting is to give you a preview of this museum on the screen. But we hope you can come and、uh, visit on site. So you come and appreciate the things that belongs to you that are your own things. Let's have a, a view of、uh, the things that we should be treasured for li lifetime. So, so far, we would like to conclude today's live broadcasting, and、uh, you are welcome to download our app to view our mobile live broadcast.